I'm going to be showing how to do quick formula entry in Microsoft Word 2013. The new formula editor is a lot nicer than the previous one. Uh, we can enter a lot of inline commands. I'm going to be using the keyboard primarily. And uh, if you look in the bottom left, you'll see the keys that I type uh, being displayed so that you can see all the hotkeys that I use. So I'm going to type here the height and I'm going to uh, introduce an inline equation by pressing Alt and equals. I'm doing this instead of just italicizing H uh, so that H is actually entered as a formula, which means that when I change the font uh, in my document, that formula will stay uh, the same as all the other formulas and allows me to change the formula font and the body text font separately. Uh, also, it's going to be useful for us to enable the uh, all the different formatting marks so that we can check that our spacing is correct. Now, uh, in a previous video, I showed how to uh, insert these full line equations. They're in my um, equation list. I've uh, added a couple here just uh, to save time. Yeah, go and have a, lo a look at the other video. I'll link to it in the notes. Now I'm going to use a couple of shortcuts to uh, typeset this under or this uh, subscript. I'm going to use the underscore character. So I'm going to enter H underscore zero. When I press space, that will become a correct underscore. Um, to type the lambda, I'm going to type a backslash and lambda, which when I press space, that will also be replaced with the correct symbol. Um, the commands for entering special characters are mostly based on the LaTeX commands. So I'll also link to a document um, in the notes for this video. Uh, which you can have a look at all the various uh, shortcuts, uh, also more written out instructions for how to do the, the entry. Okay, now we're um, doing the bold symbols. I'm still going to use a formula. So I'm still going to type, I'm going to uh, press Control B for bold. Now I'm going to use quotes. And the quotes will make it uh, typeset upright. Again, this is different from uh, using the uh, bold just on the text itself because that font will be retained if I change uh, the body text font. For the subscript for maximum here, notice that I'm going to uh, enable a group. Uh, by opening parenthesis, I'm going to use quotes to make sure that the max is typeset as text. I had to press space twice in that sequence to get everything to work correctly. I'm now going to insert a cross-reference. Um, I'm going to use a non-breaking space, um, control shift space. You'll see with the formatting marks enabled, it will appear like a little degree sign, but that won't actually, uh, it won't remain in the final text. And I'm going to go to references to insert my cross-reference over here. I'm going to reference equation two. I just need to fix up that parenthesis. There we go. So this will automatically update if I change the order of my uh, equations, which is very useful. Uh, I'm going to enter some uh, fractions and matrices now. These are slightly more challenging. Uh, the key item is to remember to use parentheses for grouping. I'm going to open up the uh, block uh, bracket there and uh, now enter the matrix using grouping. Don't be 
confused by that block that's just going to transform into the matrix um, I can use ampersand characters to uh, split the columns and at characters to split the rows. Okay, so I'm finished with my matrix structure. So when I close the uh, parentheses and press space, that will get typeset into the matrix structure. When I close the brackets and press space, that will get expanded into the correct shape. Okay, now for these um, the referential, all the calculus uh, terms, um, to correctly typeset a partial fraction, we use backslash partial. I'm using brackets here to group the uh, numerator and denominator of the fraction. Now for a normal derivative, note that the derivative has to be upright. So I'm going to use the quote technique to do that. And for the integral, I'm going to use backslash int. I'm going to typeset the limits using the underscore for the lower limit and using a caret for the upper limit. That's the same as in LaTeX and also the symbol for superscripting. Now, just to show deeply nested equations. Notice I'm using the square root uh, command here. I'm going to use parentheses to uh, group everything under the third. And once I press space, everything will start um, correctly, uh, including the limits. And so there we go.